Madrid is great for tapas because you can find local specialties from all the regions. The basic tapa is what you get for free with your drink. That happens in most of Spain. You can just keep ordering drinks and you keep getting food. Then we have raciones. Raciones is a plate meant to be shared. And then we have uh, pinchos, which can be a smaller portion of a ración, so it's meant for one person, because it's something you eat in one, one mouthful or two. Real tapas uh, places don't display tapas bar at the door. You should look for bar, taberna, tasca, or probably cervecería. Tapas can be any food, really. We have from the very basic, cheeses and cold meats, jamón, uh, maybe some tinned um, seafood, things like that, which is very traditional, up to very elaborate haute cuisine uh, in miniature. But what matters is the way you share it uh, and the way you eat it in a very unfussy and in a very informal way. I personally love standing up. You have one drink on, uh, on one hand and the tapa on the other and then um, you kind of blend with the rest of the people on the bar. You can almost talk to anybody and that feels great. One important thing to know about tapas places in Spain is that they aren't restaurants where you book a table. Tapas bars and taverns are places where you just walk in and find a space. Also, there are two options. You can go to different places and just have in each place their specialty with a drink, or you can just go into one place, find a table, and sit down and share some raciones, some, some portions, some tapas. Often, you want to go into a bar and it's super crowded. But that's a good bar because it's really crowded and you want to go in. For Spanish, it's uh, not so scary so we do go in and we make a little space and people rotate very quickly but if you are more than four or six people it's that going to be tough so ideally three four or five people is great the best time to go is on the times before lunch and before dinner uh, because uh, that's what we consider aperitivo and uh, the ambience is still uh, crisp, people haven't, got, haven't eaten or drink, drunk too much yet and it all feels new and the flavors uh, feel really tasty because you're hungry. So from 1, 1.30 1 p.m. and then in the evening 8, 8.30, those are good times, but it's really flexible. If you understand how tapas work, you understand a lot about Spain. Tapas don't have a nourishing purpose, it is more about spending time around that food and the drink, but with friends and family, or at least in a, in a bar, in a taberna, that is almost part of your house. It's almost an extension of your living room.